Hello, I'm back with part two of this podcast. It is me, FPL Penguin. If you haven't already, please watch um, part one, which is just before this video of this podcast, of myself talking about um, everything FPL, all the transfers that are happening, and uh, more questions from uh, more uh, subscribers and people on Instagram and Twitter. So let's get straight into this. This question comes from FPL Lad. Thank you for your question. Got a question saying, uh, would I pick or anybody to pick Zaha or Mili Jovic? Mili, Mili Jovic? I probably screwed his name. name I'm just going to call him Mili. <laughs> Zaha or Mili from Crystal Palace? Zaha, you know, linked with Arsenal, as I mentioned in, probably mentioned my last video. Um, I'm not really that big fan of Zaha. Did he score like 10 goals, 11 assists, something like that last season? It's pretty all right, you know, that's, you know, assist-wise and stuff. He can play on left wing. He can play striker. Um, as I said, if Crystal Palace lose him this summer, I think they they're just doomed. That's what I'm saying. I think they're doomed. Unless they use that money to buy someone that's a really good replacement for him and uh, Bissaka. But if they don't, can't get anything anybody that good. I just can't see him staying in the Premier League next summer, uh, next season, this season coming. Um, obviously, it's, it's a no-brainer, this question, who I think is the one to go for. Go for Millie. Millie... Uh, the uh, centre mid takes penalties. I I am eyeing him up at the minute to bring him into my FPL team. He he is a good player. I think he's seven million exactly same as uh, Zaha. If I'd choose, it's just, as I say, it's a no brainer. Go for Miliv Milivojevic um, from Crystal Palace. You know he he seems to, if I dare say, offer a bit more to Palace. And he takes penalties as well. And he always gets them in a lot of the time. So his conversion rate is much better. So I would go for him instead of Zaha. Another question from FPL Lad. Um, goalkeeper rotation. Do we just leave it as it is? Or do we just rotate during the season? Uh, basically at the moment. If I had to give another one away in my team. I've got Alisson and uh, Button. As my two goalkeepers. Now you know Button being the... Uh, Second goalkeeper for Brighton, and it's very rarely, well, hardly the only times he would get into the starting lineup is you know Ryan's injured ball last season near the end of last season. Uh, he got his chance button when Ryan went off to the Asia Games. Uh, to play for Australia, so then he had his chance then. But I, I, you know, a lot of people you see how high he's picked at the moment. Button he's about four million, isn't he? Um, on the um on the uh. How many people have picked him? He's about second or third highest. Because he's very cheap and they just use him just to complete their teams. I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm going to keep Allison in my team the whole season. He's, I don't think he's going to get injured. Hope he doesn't get injured. I mean, it's very unlikely. Very low that a goalkeeper gets injured in a season. Um, but Allison, he is an absolute rock. Fantastic for us in his first ever season for Liverpool. Got the most clean sheets last season as well in his first ever season for Liverpool. He is an absolute rock. He's a rock for Brazil as well. He's, he kept Messi quiet at Anfield in the second leg as he helped us overturn that 3-0 um, scoreline to win 4-3. He helped as well. He helped Brazil clean sheet against Argentina's um, uh, Messi's Argentina recently and knocked them out. He's absolute rock and he's just going to get even more confidence in him. He's a big guy and I'm going to keep him. I'm, if you want to as well, but I'm, I'm, I'm only thinking um, about the budget and stuff. So I'm just keeping him and Button in my, uh, as my two goalkeepers. Just, just having Alisson. I think the two best goalkeepers to have and you can't go wrong with them. Alisson and Edison, the two Brazilians. I think, you know, Liverpool City once again to get the most clean sheets. This season, I think, you know, just just go with that. So I either go for Edison and Button or Allison and Button. So just just do that because Liverpool City are going to get you 
absolute a lot of clean sheet points and a, you know a lot of saves bonus points as well so just stick with one goalkeeper but from either Liverpool City whole season you can't go wrong you can't go wrong even through the tough fixtures you can't go wrong so stick with one goalkeeper for the rest uh, unless you want to swap that one goalkeeper but have a very low budget goalkeeper like Button in like for a 4 million goalkeeper to have on your bench something like that but stick with one goalkeeper from either Liverpool City whole season because that's what I'm doing got another question from FPLJ80 thank you for your question and their question is um, who do I think will score the most points this season I I think you're probably talking about probably you know the all the players that you know like is it going to be Sterling's the Salas the Mane's the Aguero's I think you're probably looking at the from local city wise. Um, I think you're probably going to look at the Aguero, Sterling's, the Mane's uh, to see how Salah does if he if he becomes the Salah from last season or the Salah from his first ever on fire season. You know, which I'm hoping it is that Salah. Um, we don't know, so I think it'd be one of the guys from local city. Bloody getting all those points, getting the most points uh, in th- this next season coming up now. That's who I think. Right, finish the podcast stuff there. It's a short video this time. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you next video. Please subscribe. Got 37 subscribers at the minute. Love to get to 40. Thank you so much for watching. Please share this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.